Okay, so um, I just wanted to uh, take a look really quick at just some software that's very useful that we're going to be using in class. Um, and it's just to do some linear algebra work. And the software is called Octave. OctaveOnline.net. Okay, and so here it is, and it's got Octave command prompt is down below here. And the nice thing about this is that Octave is a free version of MATLAB. And so um, MATLAB is uh, some code that was built a long time ago to be a front end to, to linear algebra. And so some of the commands are very useful and very fast if you just want to do a few computations. So um, in the example here I'm looking at um, trying out the solving that system of differential equations uh, for the set of equilibrium solutions. And so I'm just going to type in my matrix A first. And my matrix A was, uh, let's see, 1 over 50. You can double check your matrix times. And this is how we enter a matrix uh, in MATLAB. It's just the, um, the first element. Let's see, it was minus 3. And then, oh, no, wait a minute. Uh, oh, I need to rewrite that. Uh, minus 6. Uh, 2, and then if you put on a semicolon, you get the new row, and then we'll have a 6 minus 9. Okay, and then if you hit enter, you'll see the matrix there. Okay, and then uh, furthermore, we have the vector b on the other side of the equation that was minus 24, uh, 0. And so now I'm trying to solve ax equal b, right? So if I say, I can just uh, say that uh, x solution is equal to the inverse of a, i and v a, times b. And so there's my solution. And just to double check that that is the same, remember in class I was saying that it was 1800 divided by 7, or 1200 divided, or eh, not an or, 1200 divided by 7. Good. And so those are the uh, grams of salt in, in uh, tanks A and B, respectively. Okay. And so just uh, to let you know, uh, it's easy to enter matrices and uh, eigen and vectors. So if we want a 3x3 three three, uh, matrix, for example, I could just, actually, I could enter a random 3x3. Three three. And if I don't want to have uh, octave print out the output, I can put a semicolon on the end, and then it doesn't. Now I wonder, um, just out of curiosity, if I pick a random matrix like this, a random 3x3 three three matrix, I wonder what the eigenvalues are like. So I could ask eigenvalues of A, and it'll give them to me. And so I could do that again, rand eigenvalues rand eigenvalues rand eigenvalues hmm there's some interesting things about this right are you noticing anything in particular that might be interesting in particular are you seeing any Oop. <laughs> complex numbers they finally popped yeah so it took us quite a while of sampling before we actually got a set of uh, complex numbers but um, yeah, so that's one way to get your eigenvalues, is the command eig. And so now we've learned uh, two commands. Inverse is inv, and eig is eig. Okay, and so um, if you want the full set of eigenvectors and eigenvalues, by the way, you could uh, have two outputs by taking square bracket v comma d equals eig, and now what happens is uh, v is a vector, uh, contains the eigenvectors, and the d is the diagonal containing your eigenvalues. So by the way, notice that this first eigenvector is actually real because it's plus zero i. And then these are your complex conjugate eigenvectors for your complex conjugate eigenvalues. Good. <clears throat> so if you want to solve for eigenvalues and eigenvectors, it's very fast using Octave. You can just type in your matrix and get the solution. Okay, we're going to be 
doing more with this um, as time goes by but I just wanted to kind of pop it out there just for you to look at and in fact I'm going to give you a code for uh, you to use and we'll, where we'll be able to share um, code back and forth and so when you log in you'll be able to see some of my code and I'll be able to see some of your code if you want if you wanted to share that okay so um, it's it looks like it'll be interesting uh, software to try um, so I would encourage you to to get a maybe get an account um, like I said it's free to try it out so uh, we'll try it out and see what happens okay I'll see you later